Thank you, thank you so much. So you were saying this is nice and viscous. Yes. Really, as a if I can pick it up with the sack intact. Come on. Yeah. That's it. Most of the sack's gone in there, but not me. Just... So the idea is you mix it, now you've got your binder, you take your pigment. Which, for example, let's say this red. And where's that come from, the red? This is Verminion, which is based on mercury. So some of these things they were working with were really quite toxic. Mm, they were. You were explaining that the white one would have been lead in lead white. Roman times. Which, of course, it was a constituent of ladies' makeup. Oh, yes. Mm. Now, the funny thing is, they did know it was bad for you, but they still that used it. That sounds so familiar, doesn't it? it does. All the things we still know are bad for us and we still use them. Yeah, sunbeds. Oh, that's clever. That's very yeah. clever. Just to start it off. So, this is where we use this, the muller. And this is just an ordinary tile you're working on? Yes, it is. A piece of granite. Mm -hmm. Add a bit more, just to... But with egg yolk, you'd need to start straight away, wouldn't you? With yes. The, um... Yes, because it dries, starts to cure, and dry out very quickly. Hence the expression in a day's work, all done in a day's work, because they used to mix up enough paints just to last that day. Mm -hmm. Hello. That done. Fantastic colour. So then. Take your spatula, yeah. which is based on an archaeological find, and if I can do it, just gather it together. It might it actually it's come out a little bit runny, so what I will do in this case is. You're putting it into an oyster shell. I am, yes. Because it's a very handy hand sized pallet. And the reason I'm putting it into one that's already had blue, the blue is completely dried, yeah. so it won't affect the red. And now you're good to go? Yes.